you, Enterprise uh, Society and the Inspire team. Uh, I'll be talking on Adrenal Venous Sampling and our experience, and I'll take you through a few cases. So uh, when we go to the pathology of hyperaldosteronism, uh, the classically, this is an adenoma, but more often uh, we see those nodules and there may be hyperplasia as seen in the third picture. So, and we have mixed uh, and match of all these things. And what we want to understand whether the pathology is unilateral or lateralized or it is bilateral. So we can have all mix and match of this pathology but why do we want to know whether it is unilateral or bilateral is just based on a management principle because if it is unilateral, I can offer a surgery, but if it is bilateral, uh, offering surgery will not give, uh, we have to resort to a medical management because adrenals are essential organs and there will always be a gray zone where we can resort to medical management followed by surgery or medical management in this case, when we have initially done a medical management, we can go to surgery later. So through next five cases, I would uh, bring home this point. And so for localization, can CT scan be useful? CT scan is useful in Cushing's and FIO, but not in cons uh, or primary aldosteronism as shown in this study where CT, when it said it is unilateral and when the AVS was done, it was found bilateral in 50% of those cases. As against when the CT could not localize it to be unilateral, AVS could localize it unilateral in 50% of the cases. So overall, the discordance between the AVS and the CT scan is up to 50%. It is like a flip of a coin. Uh, so we need to do an AVS procedure. Uh, what There are various protocols available. What we follow at KEM is a sequential uh, synactin continuous infusion is there. Selectivity index we use is five and lateralization index is four. And this is what we will follow in the cases. Uh, this is a pediatrician who comes with hypertension and hypokalemia biochemically proven to be primary aldosteronism. You can see both the adrenal glands. Uh, when I looked at him first, I said, okay, we can go ahead with the surgery on the left side. Uh, father was also a MD physician. He said, doctor, are you sure that you're dealing uh, with primary aldo and the pathology lies on the left side? Uh, I said, I'm not sure. How can we be sure? Then we said, if you are contemplating surgery and not medical management, we can be sure after doing an AVS and the patient was subjected to uh, AVS. Uh, the selectivity index was 14, which was more than five. That means we can use uh, the samples collected there and the lateralization index came out to be 21. So now uh, we could answer that yes, we are dealing with the left side pathology and we can go ahead with the left side removal of the adrenal gland in this case and even the contralateral separation was low. The patient was subjected to the surgery on the left side. It turned out to be single aldosterone producing adenoma and we could achieve the biochemical cure. In retrospect, we can say, okay, we became wiser with the ABS and our confidence of operating him was higher. But even without ABS, if we would have done the surgery, but you would have taken a chance as we will show in the next case. This is another lady, 52 year old, hypertensive since many years on multiple drugs. PA was proven. This is an MRI showing an adenoma on one side and a hyperplastic gland on the other side. She was contemplating surgery so uh, on the outlook of it, we can say, okay, let's remove the right side adenoma and take a call. But again, the same question came, doctor, are you sure that what you are operating is correct? We subjected her to AVS and the AVS uh, could lateralize it on the left side to our surprise. And probably this is a non-functioning adenoma on the right side. Even the contralateral separation index was very low. So we thought it is a uh, non-functioning adenoma, only time can tell us uh, how it will behave. But to summarize this case, this was a case of unilateral hyperplasia with micronodules on the left side that was producing the hyperaldosteronism. And even after seven to eight years of follow-up, this lady is under biochemical cure and clinical cure, uh, suggesting that the right side adenoma is still non-functional. Going to the next case, 
similar case uh, hypertensive since ages on 10 uh, 10 anti hypertensives primary aldo uh, was proven and you can see the right and the left adrenal gland uh, since she is troubled with multiple drugs we are contemplating surgery and uh, we want to localize it and the lateralization was happening on the right side but this lateralization was not at as impressive as in the first two cases and we can see the lateralization happened on the lean adrenal gland as against the bulkier adrenal gland uh, we discussed the case we uh, went ahead with the surgery of the right sided adrenal gland but we had some doubt in our mind that the other side of the gland may still be making aldosterone in future so on follow up what we could conclude the right gland was removed but there is a partial biochemical and clinical remission in this case she is again come with a low renin on a follow up and this follows a case of a asymmetric lateralized hyperaldosteronism but what we achieved from all the exercises now initially she was off drugs and now she is controlled on a single drug and bp is much better controlled as against 10 drugs she is now controlled on a single drug a similar case who have uh, concerns with hypertension and requiring icu admissions on multiple drugs biochemically proven uh, we can see a uh, adrenal gland which is uh, bulkier on the left side uh, so uh, again are you sure what we are dealing with we said we are not sure we have to do a avs and avs suggests both it is a bilateral pathology it is not unilateral lateralization it was index was 1.28 and patient was put on a simple uh, aldecton and she is doing good uh, and even with 50 mg of aldecton she had hyperkalemia and we have reduced it to 25 mg and she is doing good on one or two drugs now and so we assume this is a kind of a bi bilateral nodularity in this uh, condition going to the last case a young lady with accelerated hypertension we can see a clear cut adenoma on this side again uh, uh, we said okay go ahead with the surgery without avs then uh, saba in our department said no sir there is micronodule on the other side how can you subject her to surgery without doing a avs okay we said we'll go ahead with the avs uh, just because anyone who have put up a doubt so we cannot be sure uh, good that saba had put that doubt in our mind and when we did a avs we didn't had a complete lateralization the lateralization index was only 3.29 though it is in the gray zone and we know this is the uh, adenoma which is making more aldosterone but other sites there are micronodules so this is a bilateral pathology this lady was not subjected to surgery initially and was controlled on aldecton and she is doing fine and even the renin has recovered on that but now uh, last week when she came back she wants to plan pregnancy then again the question came back should we shift her to aplerenon or amiloride or subject her to a surgery for the debulking uh, concern so that's what we can think and go back and forth amongst the medical management and the surgical management in these cases but pathophysiological diagnosis and the laterality is a continuum it was absolute in the first two cases with a lateralization of 21 and 61 with an adenoma and a unilateral hyperplasia it was bilateral in the one of the cases where it was 1.28 but the cases where the lateralization index was in a gray zone uh, we have to be very cautious and then we have to uh, individualize the treatment in those cases thank you